So today we're going to rebuild the front hubs on a 77 CJ7 with the drum brakes. Uh, I know a lot of people do the disc brake upgrade, but we're trying to restore as much as we can to original on this Jeep. The front hubs have already had the uh, ball joints replaced and have had the U joints replaced, drive shafts have been redone. And right now they look something like this. This is what uh, the, the hub and the four wheel drive uh, switch looks like after it's been taken apart and cleaned up a little bit. Um, it looked more like this when I first started. Took a lot of cleaning. And I've ordered a worn 7300 um, service kit for the hubs, which is pretty good, but it doesn't have everything. Um, this o-ring here is too big and the one that's the main issue is this one which goes on the inside of this right on the selector and this one was still okay on the one side here but it's dried out it's not not great anymore, but it's uh, it's still usable maybe. Um, the other side was a bigger problem, which is just split. So I found a couple of O-rings, which are very similar in size. It takes just a little bit of a stretch to make that fit. And uh, the only problem with it is that the O-ring itself is a little bit fat. And what I did was just after it was in place, ran a blade around the edges. And uh, I have a stack of them. This one isn't the nicest cut, it was just my first one to try it out. but. It did pop into place without too much trouble. Now, after a lot of scrubbing and sanding and, and painting, I was able to put the hubs together. Um, looking a little bit better than when they first came out. And uh, I'll still have to do this side over here, but gives you an idea of what it's going to look like when it's done. So now we're going to go through and we're going to get the races bearings in, uh, get everything put together so that this can go back on the Jeep and, and get that front wheel back on. Okay, so when you go to put your four wheel drive switch and hub together, you have to put this larger O-ring around the outside of the switch there and then the smaller one goes around the center section here and uh, I had to make my two outside ones but my two inside ones were both still nice and soft so once you've gotten that part done you can work on putting this piece in which is what I'm going to show you next. So now that we're ready to put this back together we're going to take the outer part of the hub and the uh, four-wheel drive selector and there's a couple of different things that need to be done. First thing, starting with this ring, you can drop your selector back in and you'll see that the arrow is pointed at four-wheel drive. Put it at there, you'll, in between the 4x4 four four and the 4x2, there's a little nub here that keeps you from turning it past there. And same thing on this side. You get it back to this side, where it's pointing at the 4x4. Four four. There's a couple of things that you need to do. First, just get that ring back on there. Second of all, get that in there. And 
once your snap ring is back on, just get it pushed into place here. Make sure you're in the right spot there on 4x4 and that it spins around properly. That's all looking good. Okay, now that you've got this part together, you want to get this threaded onto here. But before you do, it's a little bit easier to put your gasket on here first. And when you go to thread this on, you will see that, uh, I'll grab the clean one, you'll see that uh, it just threads on. But there's a pin here, and you need on this piece to look for the keyed outside. You'll see there are two here that are farther apart and two here that are closer together. This pin needs to end up underneath the first one of the two wider keys, either on this side or on the other side, doesn't really matter. Um, so you have to turn it back and thread it back one and it's a little bit of work to get this around the rivet that's there. You don't want to break that pin. You pop it around there. And then once more, lift it up to get it underneath here. Turn into that hole, and that's now in. Now you'll see when you turn your four wheel drive, just pointed at four by four right now, as you turn this, it pulls that hub in and disengages the four-wheel drive. Now it says four by two. And when you turn it the other way, it will push that back in again and you heard it click there in the four-wheel drive. So, for putting it together, you'll see by lining up that pin in the right spot that the holes line up. And your gasket just sort of falls into place there now. Make sure it's properly lined up there. Snap it in. Uh, there are some nice new screws that came with the repair kit from Warren. You have this now assembled. And spins nicely again. And that's that. Now we'll get her onto here. <laughs>